it's really the energy trilemma coming to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Affordability, sustainability and security. And with the conflict in Ukraine, it's just been further manifested because the lack of investment that's happened over the last decade is now being seen with us being short of energy. So there's a big aspect of balancing the energy trilemma as well as then moving forward with climate change agenda and making sure we have the right technologies to reduce the carbon footprint. But, but, but it's about people spending money and there is underinvestment in hydrocarbons and there is underinvestment uh, in green and renewable as well. You talked about balance and I know that is the key buzz for you. can't move at Baker Hughes here without talking about balance and momentum and, and trilemmas galore as well. But is the investment on both sides of that equation, is it coming back in substantial levels in order that we're actually not going to have an energy crisis uh, around the corner? It is coming back. If you look at Baker Hughes, we've really got two business segments. We've got one which is more on the traditional side of oil field services and equipment. And you can see from last year and also this year that activity levels are increasing, in particular international. And we're seeing that there is increased production coming on stream. You've seen the investments being announced in the Middle East. So we see international activity being very positive on the traditional side. You look at the industrial and energy technology side, We've been booking orders of LNG. You've seen our announcements, and actually we had a record backlog of orders, uh, record orders last year from the equipment standpoint, and we see that continuing as a positive cycle. In addition, we're starting to see new energy orders, and in 2022, we were up over 50%, uh, $400 million of new energy orders, and that's helping really the aspect of the climate change agenda and reducing emissions as we go forward. There's so much to say. I want to try and unpack as much as possible. Are you saying that shale in the US actually, because we're worried about shale now, a lot of people, about the fact that utilisation rates are down, the fact that permitting is still painfully slow as well. Is shale on the wane in the United States, given what you just said about your focus internationally? I think shale has definitely got its role to play. Um, I think uh, people expected it potentially to be producing more at this stage. That's not the case, but it's still very active. We are seeing more activity internationally. And as a company, we tend to be more internationally focused than yeah. within North America. Yeah, I don't want to get too techy with viewers. And, and Mike, you're going on, on the third piece of equipment. Now, I think it's called the Novelty 16, yeah? Yes. The no uh, and this LT is a gas 16. turbine. It is a gas turbine. what turbine. I think you said actually is very interesting, and it ties in your traditional business and indeed with what you're looking at with your new energy as well. That gas turbine could be used for hydrogen, yeah? That is correct. It is. I believe the only available 100% hydrogen gas turbine on the market that's been tested already with our partner SNAM and it is also going to be used as we go forward in the hydrogen plants that are being built around the world. So I put the ball on the Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.